Always wear a bonnet. <laughs> to bed. Why are we wearing a bonnet? <sighs> um, a bonnet is not a protective style. No, it's not. It's not a protective style. Hold on. 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 I know you're just ready to get back to the video but i have got something important to tell you right here with me i am holding my very favorite perfume to date and girl it is luxury this is the ambre vanilla from dossier and girl when i say you can smell like luxury without breaking the bunk I mean it. So what I love about this brand is that it's a non-toxic brand. You guys probably don't know, but perfumes can contain up to thousands of ingredients that are put under the umbrella of perfume. And some of these ingredients might actually be harmful to your health. So what I really love about this brand is that they're non-toxic. They believe that everybody deserves to smell luxurious without breaking the bank. And what they actually do is that they get their inspiration from some of these really, really ridiculously expensive perfumes that you and I probably would not even think of buying and then make these perfumes for us to enjoy. I love that they're affordable. I love that it's risk-free. You can literally buy some, try some, and if you don't like them, send them back. It is that simple. I have never smelled this good in my entire life. Like literally, I'm not a perfume person, but these guys really put me on and let me know that, girl, that there's absolutely no need for you to miss out on smelling your absolute best without compromising on price or your health. Oh, and there is such a great range for you guys to choose from. So guys, I really, really highly recommend. I've literally hooked myself and my husband onto this brand for good. Now, although you're already getting a luxury perfume for 70 to 90% less, you can actually save more and get 10%, 20% off depending on how much you buy at Dossier. So take advantage of the bargains. A massive thank you to Dossier for collaborating with me for this video. I really do hope you guys enjoy this brand as much as I do. Hey guys, it's Chloe Darius back with another video. Look who I managed to pull to the camera. I got bullied. <laughs> <laughs> no, I requested kindly, guys. I hope this video will be fun to watch for entertainment purposes, of course. But if you're not aware, this is my lovely husband, Nigel. He has featured in some of my videos years ago. Um, but yeah, finally managed to get him to sit in front of the camera again. So in this video, I am going to be asking him to tell us 10 of his top tips um for growing natural hair long and healthy because like he's been with me for years and he's seen me do videos um so i just want to see if he's been listening <laughs> and to see where his mind is at with regards <laughs> to natural hair are you ready let's do it it's 10. let's do it all right number one let's get straight into it what's your first tip hmm Always wear a bonnet <laughs> to bed. <laughs> well, not all the time. Like, you can't obviously go to the mall wearing a bonnet. But, like, you know, wear a bonnet to bed when you're home. Mm. Tip number one. Why are we wearing a bonnet? <sighs> so, a bonnet... Um... Bon bon bonnets are good for for uh, it's not a bonnet is not a protective style no it's not it's not a protective style hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I got this I got this I got this you're wearing a bonnet to protect your hair because a bonnet is soft it's silky Ooh, okay. you know so um, it's just so that your hair has got a cushy place too you know we love it we love it we love it tip yeah. number two um tip number two tip number two tip number two tip number two no sulfates where no sulfates where is this 
like products with sulfates. Okay, why aren't we using sulfates? They're not good. They strip your hair off all the good stuff. What? That is a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea you knew about that. Mm. Sulfates generally do have a place, but yeah, on a regular basis, they can be stripping and drying to the hair. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, mm -hmm. tip number three. Um, like everything, your hair needs water, you know, so, um, what is life? You drink, you plant, you plants, you water them, whatever we do, we need water, whether to wash your hair or to just hydrate it a little bit. So you want, you recommend we put water in our hair? Well, when you wash your hair, mm -hmm. you're putting a bit of moisture in, mm -hmm. um, I mean, some people even when they go steaming they'll have the hair out or even when you're swimming at, at some point your hair needs some moisture and then you know you can put oils to lock in the moisture okay we love it mm -hmm. wait that was tip number what three three all right so what's tip number four tip number four i grew up seeing my mom and my sisters well, yeah, but my mom and my sister's getting their hair done every month, whether it was, you know, duck and lovely or braids or whatever it is. But that that adds to, um, you know, you're not retaining your length. Your edges are also um, getting affected if you're handling your hair too much. So don't handle your hair too much. You know, try not to always be in your hair. Look for styles that you can keep for long and yeah. Mm. We love it. Mm -hmm. We love it. Mm -hmm. I am pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. but I had no idea. I'm the real coily diary. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love it. Mm -hmm. Number five? Number five. Um, well, number five was tied into the last one, which is um, you need to lock in the moisture. Locking the moisture of your hair. Yeah. So you use butters, oils, um, you know. All right, so you're recommending people use oils and butters? Well. On their hair? To lock yeah, in moisture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's not only just the hair, your scalp too, you know. By the way, guys, I did not tip him. He's not reading anything. I did not make a lip. <laughs> Calm down. It's all in there. <laughs> All these years of standing behind the camera, I've, I've been listening, I've been listening. Okay, mm -hmm. no, we love oils and butters. Yep. Oils and butters are like food for the hair. Mm -hmm. I love it. And the scalp. Do you use oils and butters on your beard? I, do, I put some shea butter. <clears throat> sometimes, do you? Sometimes. Okay. Well, I use shea butter on my skin, so it, it kind of goes on my beard. Too. Okay. All right. We mm -hmm. love tip number five. Use oils mm -hmm. and butters. Yes. Number six. Number six. Um... We, we spoke about the bonnet. We did. Um, you know, in ancient Egypt, they right. used to use silk in their beds. Mm -hmm. And the women's hair just used to grow so long because mm -hmm. the hair has like this um, um, uh, cushiony, soft, slippery, slippery feathery yeah. surface mm -hmm. where you put it when you're lying down. So... Mm -hmm. Invest in good sheets and a pillowcase, silk, to be precise. I'm not going to reject that. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yep. Number seven. Number seven. <clears throat> you know, when the lawn is overgrown and the length is not the same, or the branches are like, you know, and it's not symmetrical it's not manicured yeah, yeah not manicured sometimes for your hair to be healthy you need to also take care of it and sometimes it means cutting it so you need to trim it sometimes when you sleep when you handle your hair you have um i know i know the word uh or you have split ends you also have um single strand knots you know so 
if you trim your hair and you take care and you remove all those your hair is going to grow long it's going to grow healthy and yeah i am so tickled i have no idea you knew single strand knots mm -hmm. do you get single strand knots mm -hmm. where oh no no just <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> well we're on to number eight number eight number eight number eight number eight um everything needs to be pampered mm -hmm. so we spoke about the oils mm -hmm. but it's not just the oils mm -hmm. it's not just the moisture mm -hmm. sometimes you need to take your hair through a journey yeah you need to wash it mm -hmm. condition it mm -hmm. sometimes you need to deep condition it mm -hmm. so that you know all that goodness the the the, the nutrients and the Yummy stuff gets into your hair, into your follicles, you know, so that your hair grows and your hair is healthy. So sometimes your hair needs to be pampered, you know, just take time, half a day. Just take care of your hair, put it in some butters and close it up in a bonnet for a few <clears throat> hours. Mm -hmm. You know, So it's not just your back that needs pampering or massage, hair too. We need you to help out with that half a day wash day. <laughs> You can't just say half a day, <laughs> half a day, take half a day. <laughs> yeah, mm. nah, conditioning is great. Like looking mm. after your hair and wash days, all part of the puzzle, isn't it? To yep. getting long, healthy hair. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, th I thought you'd be struggling, but number eight. Yeah. Number anyway, eight. Two more left. You've got mm. number nine and number 10. So what's number nine? Number nine. Um, heat is not your best friend. So heat is has been known to help with straightening hair mm -hmm. but heat can also burn hair and heat can also damage hair mm -hmm. you know we we think hair is dead but it's not actually dead it opens it closes so it's alive mm -hmm. it's just it's like your nails yeah you know um it's sometimes when you cut your nails if you go too deep it hurts because it's attached to some nerves and stuff and you know so um yeah that old tradition especially back back in africa where we used to put a comb on fire and then comb and straight and then you have this ball of hair that remains nah that's not good so not all heat is good for you that was the worst isn't it with a hot comb, hot comb. we used to put it like on the fire mm -hmm. and then like pretty much just burn the hair yeah. you remember that yeah. wow it would make your hair puffy and straight but how much hair would you have lost? Yes, you know, so. so much breakage and the the smell of burnt hair. Mm. I still remember it vividly. So heat, like you know, not 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 too much heat. We have been told. Well, lucky number last. What's number last? <laughs> number ten. Number I can't 10. believe it. Number ten. Number ten. What's number ten? You just have to have the right attitude. <laughs> yep. Gotta love it. If you love your hair, I don't know. There's just something about us. Maybe more spiritual. If you love something, you enjoy something. Whether it's your hair, your body, your face. I think it will start, you know. Um, representing those thoughts and those attitudes so mindset is everything yep mindset is everything wow so it's all in the mind and um, yeah you can be your own master as long as you think and believe it and conquer your hair Sir Nigel you have won the battle <laughs> <laughs> I have lost I thought you would not make it to 10 I thought maybe 5 <laughs> five and then you start struggling but a lot of what you said is actually so true mm. yeah i hope so thank you nice <laughs> well guys i hope you enjoyed this video um just for fun i know you know my family is a part of um the filming of you know all the videos that you guys see so i, I think it's really good for you guys to see 
him particularly once in a while so you can see where all the hard work of setting me up and mm -hmm. looking after our boy while i'm here filming so <laughs> thank you Nigel, for coming out thank you for having me